안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I am going to talk about my acne. I have been struggling with acne for five years. Five whole years. Five years. Five years. Here's a picture of how my acne looked because I had ruined my acid mantle, which is the protective layer of a slightly acidic pH over the top of your skin that protects your skin from bad bacteria. It holds good bacteria and lots of oils, water, nutrients. I over exfoliated by using the Clarisonic twice a day, every day for a few weeks. And literally these few weeks changed my whole skin's life. I already had normal skin with a few breakouts here and there prior to using that beauty tool. And I just decided, oh, maybe it would help with the few breakouts that I get. But my skin was already healthy. I didn't need that much of an exfoliation every morning and night. It was too abrasive for me. I wish that I only used it once a week because exfoliating once a week is good for your skin and it helps get rid of those dead cells that are accumulating or clogging your pores. But if you're using such an abrasive tool every day, twice a day, that is not okay. And it was weird because after I missed a morning or missed a night, I would get these really deep, painful, not even lumps. They were not even lumps. They were hills because of how deep they were. And those are called cystic acne when they are really deep in your skin and very painful. I realized that I was opening up all of my pores. So I discontinued use of the Clarisonic, but I had about 15 to 30 cystic pimples on my face simultaneously and also those small little bumps that are colorless and then if you squeeze them like a hard chunk of pimple comes out those are called closed comedones they're just clogged pores and i had about like 40 to 50 of them all over my face simultaneously which means like at the same time but what's weird was that i didn't clarisonic my back but also my back reacted i think it was such a deep reaction and I don't want to put all of the blame of my acne onto the Clarisonic because I did have issues with my intestines. I have like a gut problem of not being able to fully digest my food well. I have bad issues with my appetite because of my gut feeling so stuck all the time. And my acupuncturist even says that that's the cause of my acne is toxic heat that is stuck in my gut from all of my antibiotics that I've been taking in the past, from all of my bad eating habits, from my bad sleeping habits, from all of these things. I think the Clarisonic was just the trigger to my body going into panic mode because I erupted acne on my back as well. Most of the scarring is pretty much gone now that I've seen a dermatologist and I've gotten a regimen set in place for my skin. And my acupuncturist is also giving me herbal medication as well for my gut and for my skin. And if you'd like to see a video on what exactly my dermatologist gave me as a skincare regimen, please let me know if you'd like to see that. I think it would be an interesting video because literally it's only three products and my skin looks like this now and like this now. And throughout this journey of acne, I've also been using products to lighten my hyperpigmentation, my scars, my acne scars on my face, but it's hard to reach back in my back and my back knee has still been exploding um, up until I saw my dermatologist back in April. The scars on my back are still pretty intense and I do wanna thank a company called Banish for partnering with me on this video to talk about acne scars and kind of my journey through that. Now I'm on a regimen to prevent acne, but I don't have anything specific for my scarring. On my face, I use vitamin C serum. Sometimes I use bio oil, but on my back, I don't really use that many products to heal my scars. So I found the micro needling kit really helpful for my back just because the scarring is on a different level on my back and it really limits me sometimes i can't wear t-shirts with a wide neck hole i can't wear off the shoulder tops because my back is just so intense let me go over the kit and tell you how it really helps with acne scars they include different products that actually tackle the acne like the activated charcoal clay mask the pumpkin enzyme mask and the vitamin c elixir and cream and then they have the pore smasher which is a very cold tool because you leave it in your freezer 
to numb your skin, to soothe your skin, and to bring down inflammation. Also to tighten pores, I like to use it before I actually go into micro needling so that I don't feel as much of the needles. And then they've provided this needle pen, which are for small areas. And I actually do have a lot of enlarged pores in the middle of my face from my medication for acne. I find that it does enlarge my pores. So I use this on those small areas. And then this larger size, needle roller I use on my back. So basically you go in four directions, up, down, side, side, and diagonal both ways. You don't wanna overlap any of the areas because you just wanna make sure that it has enough contact with the needles. What it does is that it creates micro tiny holes in your skin, so tiny that it won't produce any scars, but the skin produces new collagen and elastin to fix this hole, and that process actually helps damaged skin rebuild itself and repair the micro-needled hole, and also any scars that are within that area as well. And then there's this banish oil that you're supposed to use right after you micro-needle because the oil is absorbed through the needled holes in the channels that are created by the needles. It delivers essential vitamins into the skin to help collagen form and also aids in healing the scars. I've used the needle twice now. You're supposed to use it every two weeks and so far it's been going okay. I don't see that much of a big difference from when I first started but I do notice that my skin feels smoother on my back and I would like to keep updating you on how the scars are looking. Have you ever tried micro needling? Because for me it was really scary at first. I was like oh my gosh these are needles and they poke your skin and at first it did feel a little bit uncomfortable a little bit prickly after all of the rolling is done but the pain wasn't that bad i would rate it like a 0 0.5 out of 10 and 8.5 to 9 on that scale being the pain of labor contractions but please let me know what your acne journey is like or what your skin journey is like because i feel like for everyone it's really different but everyone experiences something of that sort and if you are not you are blessed and why are you watching this video? <laughs> but for the most part, I feel like our skin really has a big part in defining who we are. And for me, it was a really, really hard time, especially with postpartum depression when I started to develop this acne for five years. If you are struggling with acne or acne scarring, you know, just want to let you know you're not alone. It doesn't make you a more unvaluable person. Acne is really tough to deal with and it's really painful and sometimes you feel like you don't know really what you're doing. I would definitely recommend seeing a health practitioner for it, whether it's a naturopath or a dermatologist and aids like the banish kit definitely help in recovery of the scarring. I also want to remind you to always read your instructions with whatever you're working with. Read it through twice before you actually use any products just so you know actually how to use it right and reviews help as well because I didn't read any reviews on the Clarisonic. I should have known that it wasn't gonna be fit for my skin type and I shouldn't have risked it but you know, that was a problem with my gut. And what's most important is the health of your inner organs that really cause severe conditions like acne. So that's it for this video. If you'd like to see more, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified right when new videos drop. Our merch is now open. So our MVP Nacho Fam, I know you already own it. I post every day on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat. So I'll check you out on those platforms if they are platforms that you use. Feel free to send us any mail. We'd love to feature them on our videos. And if you'd like to sponsor this channel for $5 a month, you can receive extra perks like a special badge, custom emojis, the link is down below. Thanks so much for hanging with me. I'll see you next time. Bye. A heart. A kiss. Bye. Aff. Today's feature comment is from Michu Pichu. When I saw husband, I was shook. I thought you were like 16. Michu Pichu, my girl. You saw husband written down here, but you didn't see mine. Mine says NAMI, either it says 22 or 23 um, in the video that you watched, but yes, it's, it says here. It's so funny, you saw husband, but you didn't see my age and you thought I was 16, which is not bad. I, I'm, I'm happy to know that I look very youthful. But yes, actually, when I got married to Michael, I was 17. So you're not far off in your surprise, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!